Florida officials are sounding the alarm. Mandatory evacuations have already begun in the Keys tonight. The governor now urging the people of this state, the entire state, to be prepared. Anytime in the summer when the news kind of switches over and they say that they have a storm, especially a Cape Verde storm, there's a little bit of that tingling in your throat. Anybody that was watching CNN or the news or the Weather Channel were begging us to leave and calling us crazy. The governor said we were all going to die. We knew that the eye was coming right at us, and I just, I boarded up my house, I said, goodbye house. I didn't think it would make it. I don't think you can plan a natural disaster. You buy all the food, you get the house boarded up, secure evacuation plans, whatever it's going to be, and then you sit back and, and do nothing while you watch your, you know, impending doom. It's, it's like, you know, death in slow motion, kind of. went through five days of just not knowing, is your house still there? Are the people that stayed okay? You see these piles of construction materials and beds, and you see everyone's life in piles on the side of the road. Our community got torn to pieces. Two days later, after the storm, I was walking by my office and the phone rang. And it was the first time the phone had rang in two days. I picked it up and said, hello. It was like, I was so surprised to get a phone call. It was the first contact we'd had with anybody outside the Keys. The Florida Keys is a very tight-knit community. You can ask your neighbor for pretty much anything. During the hurricane, I really saw people come together to really help with the cleanup and just kind of get places back to a livable condition. The guys from Costa down helping out has been unbelievable. You know, I don't know any other company that has sent multiple crews down here to sweat equity and labor for no money. You're looking at all this destruction all around you and it's overwhelming. In every little niche in this community, there was people come together. None of that stuff on the news that you read about, none of that mattered. You stop thinking about all this other noise in the world and, and something like Irma just brings you together, you realize what's important. It's rewarding when you look out and you see all these people helping each other. You get the great feeling when the neighborhood and, and all the guide population who sometimes can be like this, just come together for a good cause definitely tough though when you see the mangroves battered and destroyed, but that's nature. It's going to come back. Our fishing's already come back. To have something that we care about, that we're passionate about, that we're as connected to the world. And you're studying and focused and concentrating on the environment, and that is so healthy. It's Zen-like. This place, this brotherhood, this community of fishing guides is the singular best in the planet. And if you want to do fly fishing and you want to do it at the highest levels, there's no other place to go, no better place to start than the Florida Keys. And Irma did nothing but strengthen that for us.